Alright, welcome to the flip video for today. Um, as you can see, the line target is behind us. It is 6.g.1. I can determine the area of given shapes and figures. Okay, so from the learning target, you should know that we are now moving on to our geometry unit. So the first thing I need to give you is your first definition. First definition is area, the amount of space inside a two-dimensional figure. So before we even get started with finding the area of these things, let's talk about the different types of shapes that we have that we're going to be discovering or um, looking more into. So the first one, you've seen this before, nothing but a triangle. There are different types of triangles, and we will talk about that later, but basic triangle. Next, we have our rectangle. We know that these two sides are the same and that these two sides on the outside are slightly smaller. Next, we have a square. We know that all four sides are the same. Baby square. But it's still the same thing because all four sides are still the same. Our next shape is a parallelogram. It might look like a diamond if I turn it this way, but it is definitely a parallelogram. Um, parallel means that it's like a street. If you think about Vernon, and the two lanes going down Vernon Avenue. They never cross, they never meet, okay? So this is going, or this line is parallel to this line. This is a parallelogram, got it? And last but not least, this is a trapezoid. So when we talk about area, we're talking about what's going on in the middle, in the inside of the figure. We're not talking about the edges. We're talking about the edges, we're talking about perimeter. When I think about area and perimeter, I always try to think about a fence. We know that if we're fencing in little puppy decks, then we're going to do the perimeter of the yard. But if we want to know how much room Dex has to run around, then we're talking about the area of the particular figure. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the area of a square. But before we can even get there, let's break down what this even means, okay? So the bottom here, we're going to call this our base. And this side here, we're going to call it our height because it's how tall it is okay so the first formula that I'm going to give you is the area of a square base it equals base times height or it also can equal, equal length times width and it can also equal side squared so the first example that we have we have this square and we're gonna have two feet on one side so if we're doing the area of this square we know that number one the sides are all the they're all the same. So this is going to be two feet, this is going to be two feet, and this side is also going to be two feet. So for finding the area, we're going to plug in base times height. So right now it gives us the height length. We also know that this length here is also going to be two. So we're going to do two times two, and it's going to give us an area of four feet. The next figure we're going to look at is a rectangle. We know that this side is also the same as this side, and these two sides are the same. But all three sides are, all four sides, excuse me, are not the same. So it's going to be a little bit different with this. With the square, we could do side, we could do side squared because that means both of these are the same. But we can't do that here. Now the formula for a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is going to be base times height or length times width. Bingo. So the example that we have for a rectangle, we have three centimeters as our base and we have five centimeters as our height. Probably should be switched around because this side is probably a little bit longer, but you get the point. So to find the area, we're going to do this base three centimeters times the height of five centimeters and that's going to give us 15 centimeters and we also need to add squared on the end of our component or end of our measurement when we're doing area because we are multiplying two different measurements. The next figure that we're going to talk about is this parallelogram. Unfortunately, parallelogram is pretty boring because the only way that you can find the area of this figure is the base times the height. Same thing as our square, same thing as our rectangle, base times height. But the different thing about this, you're probably like, okay, so how do I find the height of this figure? And it's not like my rectangle that we know the height here. It does have a definite base, but it also has a definite height too, but you're just going to have to look at it a little bit different. So let's look at it. Parallelogram, we have the area equals base times height. My base here is going to be three feet, and nine times out of ten, they're going to give you the height, but this is how it's going to look. 
if you look inside of the figure, it does have a height. See where I put my dotted line? It's still a height. And for this particular example, we're going to have our height as, I don't know, um, four feet. So if we're looking for the area of this parallelogram, we're going to do this base times the height of four feet, and that's going to give us 12 feet squared. Bingo. Last but not least, we are going to talk about the area of a triangle. But instead of looking at a triangle that's like this, which is probably more so like an equilateral triangle because all of the sides are the same, we're going to look at a right triangle. Okay, so in a right triangle, we have a base, a definite base, and we have a definite height that we can look at it and tell that that's the height, okay? So when we are finding the area of a triangle, we kind of do something a little different. It's probably why it's my favorite. But we're going to do base times height divided by 2. Or you're going to do 1 half the base times the height. So for example purposes, I have drawn a right triangle here as well. We have a base of 4 inches and we have a height of 3 inches. I'm going to change boards for just a second. So I said I have a base. Of four inches and a height of three inches. If you recall, the area of a triangle can be done with either base times height divided by two or one half the base times the height. We're going to do it both ways for this particular example, okay? So I'm going to do base times height divided by two first. So in order to do base times height divided by two, we're going to do four times 3 divided by 2. 4 times 3 is going to give us that 12. And we're going to divide that 12 by 2. So the area here is going to give us 6 inches squared. Now, let's do it with 1 half base times height. So when I do 1 half base times height, I'm going to do 1 half of the base which is four inches times three inches now with this particular example we're obviously going to have to use PEMDAS because we have a bunch of different operations and we need to know which one to do first so we are obviously going to do this multiplication first one half times four inches now a half of four is going to give us two and then I obviously have to rewrite the rest of my problem. So it leaves me with 2 times 3, and that's going to give me 6 inches again. So either way you decide to do this problem, you're still going to get the same answer. Um, my personal preference, what I like to do, depending on the number, if I know that the number is an even number and I can easily divide in half, I like to do 1 half base times height. But if it's a number like three that we can't easily break in half I'm going to do my base times my height and then divide that by two either way works it's up to you um okay so last but not least um, we are eventually going to get to the point where if I can find my stuff oh here it is we're eventually going to get to the point where we can take these figures and we're gonna find the area of this particular figure. If we unfold this figure, we have figures that we just talked about finding the area of. If you look in the middle, we have a square. We know that the area of a square is base times height. Then we have one, two, three, four, we have four triangles and the area of a triangle is one half base times height or base times height divided by two. This is eventually what we're gonna get to. So this is the first problem that we're gonna look at. If you want to, um, it might be a good idea to pause the video at this point so that you can get the problem down before we go forward. Okay, gave you some deposit. Now time to work towards it. So this figure, you're like, what in the world? I don't have the slightest idea how to find the area of this. Take this figure and break it down. When I look at this figure, I see two rectangles. Let me show you how. I'm going to break this down. 
and that would be the easiest way that I would know to break this down. So once I have broken it down, this measure down here for this base is obviously going to be four inches, four centimeters, excuse me, because it's a rectangle. So the obvious um, measurement of this is four centimeters. Now, we already have a plain edge here. This is six centimeters. So obviously when I go from here to here, it's still going to give me six centimeters. So now I can find the area of this particular rectangle and it's gonna give me six times this four and it's gonna give me 24 centimeters squared. Don't forget the squared. Okay, so on this side, we have five centimeters and we have four centimeters. We know that this five centimeters is the exact same over here, right? Because we've cut our figure in half or whatever. And then we know that this four centimeters is the same as this four centimeters over here. So to find the area of that rectangle, we're gonna do five centimeters times four centimeters and that's gonna give us 20 centimeters squared. But am I finished? No. We can't just say, oh, my area is 24 centimeters squared. No, because this is one full figure. So we're going to have to take these two measurements and we're going to have to add them together. So when I add these two um, figures together, that's going to give me, what, 40, 44 centimeters squared as the area of this total figure. All right, so the last problem that we're going to do is the area of a triangle. If you will, it would be a, probably a good time to stop this video and um, get the problem down. Mm, gave you time to pause it. Now it's time to keep going. Okay, so we know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or you could do one half the base times height. Looking at this, you would probably say, hmm, 14 and 16 are my days. Not quite. It is okay with geometry to turn your figures around, okay? Now, I know it's upside down, but this is 16. And if you can see from the 16 inside of the figure, it gives us it gives us a clear height, okay? If I were to turn my figure back this way, um, does that look like height slanted across the figure? No, it is not your height. It is This isn't going to be your base if your height is slanted this way. So it's okay to turn your figure. So my base here is going to be 16, and my height here is going to be 10 feet. So I'm going to turn my figure back around so it makes sense to me. So again, your base is going to be 16 feet and your height is going to be 10 feet. So personally, I'm going to use one half base times height because my base is divisible by two. So half of 16 feet is going to give me eight feet. And then I'm going to do eight feet times this 10 feet. 8 times 10 feet is going to give me 80 feet squared for the area of this particular figure. One half of my base is 8. 8 times 10, which is the height, is going to give me 80 feet squared. If you will, for the independent assignment of this um, flip video, please make sure you go back over your notes, read your notes, make sure that they make sense. And also, see if you can come up with some examples of some irregular figures like the rectangle that we just did. Or if you want to practice on the triangles with the one half base times height, be my guest. All right, enjoy.